What's up YouTube? I made this yeast starter, which didn't go very well, it wasn't really on time. It's been sitting there for a while, it seems to have gone off now. So actually, what that technically is, is the world's smallest beer brew, made with dry malt extract. So I'm going to bottle it and see how it tastes. So my little yeast starter didn't go very well, it took sort of, I pitched um, some liquid yeast from a smack pack in and it didn't kick off. It's supposed to be done within 18 to 36 hours. Nothing had happened within 36 hours and it wasn't until two or three days later that I started seeing bubbling going on. So finally I see this and it looks like it's completely finished and you can see at the bottom here we've got all this trube, a uh, large proportion, well, a relatively large proportion of that will be some yeast I should imagine now. That's, it's just took a long time to go through the replication phase to the point where it could really start eating. So anyway, that is, um, I can't remember how many grams of liquid malt extract, but it was some. So I'm gonna try bottling it, priming it, and leaving it for a couple of weeks to carbonate, and then I'm gonna try drinking it and see how horrible it tastes. Okay, so I need 10 grams of this light malt extract. This is the spray malt I actually used to make the starter. So I'm going to need to get 10 grams weighed out here, which is going to be interesting. Oh, nice one, John. Tell you what, this stuff gets everywhere. Oh, way too much. Okay, hang on. Eleven grams. That'll be a little bit more than an IPA. That'll do. Now we've got to get half and half. So in actual fact. Okay, close enough. Now normally, I'd do a slightly more thorough job, but I really don't care all that much. Oh great, and that's broken. Fabulous. Thank you, Wilco's. Luckily, I have backups. So that is starting. So that's my first rinse, just to make sure that the bottle's clean. This bottle was already spotless clean and sanitized, so I don't even really need to do this, but what I'm gonna do is spray that in there, and then just spin it around like that, making sure that every part, you know what, I'm only gonna do one bottle, because it's gonna taste disgusting anyway. I just wanna say that I've done it, really. So really, start sound really takes a minute. I don't usually bother, but for the purposes of this video, I'll be a good boy. And shake it around. That should mean that there's no germs in the bottle. That'll do. It's an O-ring sanitizer, so that is in fact ready to go. So there we go, that is now primed. And I'm gonna pour in the yeast starter. It smells disgusting. You're not supposed to oxygenate beer as you transfer it into the bottle. So to say I've broken every single rule of homebrew by doing this is a massive understatement. Leave a little bit of headspace, pop the lid on. There we go. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's oxidized. It's disgusting. This is quite possibly one of the worst ideas I've had. I've had some bad ideas. But let's just get that DME dissolved in there. Because DME does have a tendency to clump up. So I'm just going to try and... Oh, that works best. A little bit of a, can you see it's... There we go, most of it's in, it'll do. All we want to do is get a bit of carbonation. There's a bit of CO2 in there already. I can see it because it's bubbling, so I don't think we're gonna get any problems with an exploding bottle, but I'm gonna put it upstairs in the shower anyway. See you in two weeks. So, the day has come. My yeast starter beer, she's ready. Hasn't quite been two weeks, it's been about a week. Um, but it's been sitting up there in very hot weather, so, and there's a bit of trube at the bottom, so it looks like the carbonation has taken place. I've tilled it for a couple of days in the fridge, because uh, we wouldn't want to drink warm, cold, warm yeast starter beer, would we? So, this has literally just had malt extract and water in it. There's been no hops or anything, and yeast, of course. So, um, I fully expect it to taste absolutely disgusting. Let's find out. Oh, oh dear. That didn't sound good, did it? I don't think it carbonated. It didn't carbonate. <laughs> it's just yeast starter. <laughs> That's all it is. It's not even carbonated. Oh my God. Well, I don't think anything, carbonation is not going to save this. Actually, it's not good, not good by a long stretch, but it's not that bad. It's not actually that bad. I mean, it doesn't smell great. If I made a brew that tasted like that, I'd probably tip it, but I've had infection problems that have made much worse beers than that. It's not as bad as I thought. I thought I'd be spitting it out across the floor. But actually, it tastes better than it smells, which is a good thing because it doesn't smell very good. But yeah, I'm not going to drink the rest of that. It's definitely got some alcohol in it. But yeah, you can make beer. You can drink yeast starter, apparently. Maybe if I dry hopped it, it might be all right. <laughs> but there you go, yeast starter beer. Don't do that at home.